Hey friends, welcome to the part 70. We are looking at real certification questions. So this is a YouTube handle for this channel. You can look for various certifications on on what? On AWS Cloud, Google Cloud, Azure Cloud, Snowflake and so on. If you have not yet subscribed, please do so and start your cloud journey. You can click the join button or where is the join button? It is below the video or you can click the link in the description and become cloud kernel or cloud ninja members let us look at this question now see each cricket team or each football team has their own captain similarly each division in an office will have their own administrator that is what the question is saying and you want to deploy such mechanism that allows Azure to be segmented based on divisions and you also want to keep administrative effort minimum like if someone is a captain then imagine if you get players like uh, Virat Kohli so do you have to micromanage this guy no this guy is himself a self-managed person okay you just have to tell him a few things and get going that is called least administrative effort. Imagine basketball. If Kobe Bryant was alive and someone else is the captain, would they have to tell a lot of things to Kobe? No. Uh, he was a master of the skill. So that is the intention that your administrative effort should be less. Now the solution. See, in the certification you will get such questions where they will give you the solution. And then they will tell you whether the solution they gave is right or not. So if you think it is right, you select yes. If you think it is wrong, you select no. Now you plan to make use of several AD directories. Okay. Is this the right way? Can't you just manage with one AD directory or those and see? This is wrong. This solution is not required. You do not require several AD directories to manage this. See, the moment you have several AD directories to manage this, your administrative effort goes high, right? You will have to create a directory. If there are 20 departments, each department has a directory, then it is uh, increasing the administrative effort. So now let us look at this next question. These are support plans. If you see, you have basic developer standard professional direct. So shared is not a plan and free is not a plan so you have basic and standard if you need ssl support 12 gb storage basic will not help you with those things basic is very basic plan you will have to go through standard that is common sense you are asking for too many things that a basic plan cannot afford the standard would be your final answer see standard support plan no, it includes support for this ssl secured socket layer your question says this ssl support so standard supports it the basic plan will not support ssl if you want that support you will have to uh, go for a higher support plan such as standard or professional direct support plans if you see this standard support plan it will provide technical support for azure services it will help you resolve issues related as your environment issues storage related topics and it never tells this is the limit of storage so when you say website requires 12 gb of storage standard has no limit defined so you can use standard see similarly basic plan also does not have storage limits you can use the storage but the main thing i find is ssl support is missing in the basic plan now let us move to this next question. So if I look at uh, elastic expenditure model, I never heard of this model. There are four models. Pay as you go, reserved instance. It is reserved instance is like your marriage. Pay as you go is your living partner. Then you have hybrid benefit. So suppose you were already married and you want to carry the uh, 
heavy luggage of that marriage into this new marriage that is bring your existing licenses into azure from on premises then that is hybrid benefit why it is hybrid benefit because you are able to use the existing licenses you invested in um, in marriage it is like you have a heavy baggage of previous marriage you carry it forward in your next marriage and make your life hell and then enterprise agreements so this model is designed for larger organizations offers custom pricing like organizations who decide we will go to bed with azure whatever be the case i am your buddy we will live together for at least five years so they become chatty buddy and then they are able to negotiate the prices agreements also within that construct or framework so there is no nothing called elastic expenditure model that's why we are selecting no as an answer if you have not yet subscribed do so it will help you with your certifications and uh, in this channel we start with basic certifications intermediate advanced so it is pretty much comprehensive there are so many questions uh, thumb rules then uh, knowledge tidbits and so on so make use of those and uh, this will help you pass the certification successfully so this brings us to the end of part 70 and uh, you can look for this handle this channel and there is a link in the description you can click that and become a paid member it will give you access to many more parts and questions on various certifications see you in the next part